We turn to the always hotly contested state of Florida with its 29 electoral votes. The Sunshine State is a must win for the president and could seal a Biden presidency. In 2016, President Trump won Florida by less than 2 percent, but the ever-changing population there in the pandemic has disrupted the dynamics in the swing state even further. Let's go to ABC's Victor Akendo, who is in Orlando, Florida. And Victor, you've been on the ground covering COVID in Florida, which has consistently seen some high infection rates. Have you by such a small margin last election, how tight of a toss up is it really between the two candidates and, and how big of a role will COVID play? Well, Lindsay, nobody ever wins Florida by a wide margin. And in that regard, this election is no different. COVID-19 is, of course, top of mind, but for many different reasons. Just today, Florida surpassed 17,000 lives lost to the virus. And Florida has already botched two reopenings at one point becoming the epicenter of a worldwide pandemic. And I've spoken with plenty of people who feel let down by leadership at every level. One voter in the villages not far away from us here in Orlando. That's the largest retirement community in the country. That voter telling me that he gives President Trump a big fat F on his response to the pandemic. But you can't ignore the economic impact this has had. I've also spoken with small business owners or from bars and restaurants who are definitely fearful of another shutdown. And unfortunately, Lindsay, cases are climbing once again. And of course, you're in Orlando, which is right along the infamous I-4 corridor. I want you to zero in on the senior vote and the Latino vote in particular. How are both candidates targeting these two groups to their advantage? And, and does either have an edge? Well, Lindsay, here along Florida's famed I-4 corridor, it's a very diverse voting landscape. You have big cities like Orlando and Tampa, but then you go out to the suburbs, and that's where President Trump did so well in 2016. We just talked about COVID-19. That group hit especially hard by the pandemic. And that has created a little bit of space here for Joe Biden to make some serious inroads. As for the Latino vote, the biggest voting group in the state, Cuban Americans, they are leaning toward President Trump, but not all Latinos vote the same way. Joe Biden needs support from other groups like Puerto Ricans, for example, who feel disheartened by the president's response to Hurricane Maria to turn out. Lindsay? Yeah, Latino certainly not a monolith there. Victor Kendo in Orlando, our thanks to you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.